Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled, Choose Pain. Sounds like a funny title, but the fact is, is exactly what we see in the Parsha. Parsha Slech Lecha. Very often the Torah talks about pain. Every year on Yom Kippur, you should put yourself into a state of affliction. Avram is told by God in the Brit Bain of Tarim, Parsha Lech Lecha Perik Ted Vav, the 15th chapter. That your children are going to be in a state of avdut, avdut ve'inu otam. They will be in a state of avdut, slavery and affliction. And the fact is, there are many situations in our life where we're put into a state of inui affliction, where the Torah commands us like Yom Kippur, where the God predicts it like the slavery. Through the aging process, very often there's aches and pains as we age. The person has an accident. You know, the affliction is just part of life. Some have more, some have less. But it's not too often that a person will choose pain, choose affliction. But we see that in the parasha, an amazing incident. We see that Hagar gets a little bit haughty when she becomes pregnant. And she looks down on Sarah. And Sarah goes in and makes it clear. She's a shifcha, she's a handmaid, and she has to understand her position. It was too hard for her. She was in a state of enoy, affliction. She ran away. And the message that Malach gives her is a message for Hagar and for all mankind, for all generations, in my opinion. He said, where are you coming from? Sforno says, what does it mean, where are you coming from? Malach knows where she's coming from. You need to say, where are you coming from? You're coming from a house of unbelievable Kedusha. There's such Kedush in Avram's house. There's Chesed, Kedush, spirituality there. And therefore the Malach said, Go back, Go back and be in a state of Enoi, affliction. The Malach didn't say, Go back, everything's going to be fine like a fairy tale. Sarah just had a bad day. And don't worry, when you go back, you'll be best buddies again. No, no, no. Sarah is afflicting you. She's doing it Peshita. She has an opinion and she can continue to do it. You're going back to a state where there's afflictions. It's going to be painful in that house. But the Kedush of the spirituality is so great. So that message to me is such an unbelievable message. How often in life do we choose a path where there's less affliction, but together with a path of least resistance, of least affliction, of least pain, together with that path, assuming it's even true that there's less affliction in that path, often there's less spirituality. And very often a path where there might be more challenges, more affliction, more pain, more enoi, we're going to have greater spirituality and greater growth. And that message, Hagar, received from the Malach, Itani, go to the spiritual place, to the greatness, to the Kedusha of Avram Avinu, even though it's going to be hard for you. It's going to be psychologically draining. It's not going to be easy. But your spiritual growth is paramount, is indispensable, and that's where you're going to find it. I think this lesson is so valuable for all of us. I'd like to give examples in part two. Shalom.